today on Karamo. So this is rare. We normally don't have somebody trying to unlock their parents' phone. I know. <laughs> she wants her parents to commit to each other. This feels right. You see how they look at each other? Yeah. They both want it. He told my producer that he wants to hang up his player's coat. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to see. It's two phones unlocked. You gotta calm down. No, you have to I calm no, down. because. And one situation no one expected. No, 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 because this went left way no, too fast. But... but first. Oh, I'm so happy to meet you. You are so beautiful, even in person. Your favorite workout instructor, Toon Day, is here. So you grew up and you struggled with your weight. And she's talking about transforming grief into growth. Everybody in the audience, y'all get in the book. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to the show. My guest, Tunde Oyunem, is an elite Peloton instructor, trainer of millions of people across the world. She's a motivational speaker and a New York Times bestselling author. But Tunde, like so many, struggled with her weight and self-esteem. She also battled grief after the death of her mother, father, and brother. Tunde found her most authentic self by changing the narrative in her own life, and she continues to motivate and encourage others to do the same. Everyone, please help me welcome Tunde to the show. Hi! Tunde, I'm so happy to meet you. You are so beautiful, even in person. Don't play with me. You are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you are stunning! Hi, Walking out here like a supermodel. Thank okay, you. so we got to go back. So you joined Peloton in 2019, right? Right. Um, but what I found was interesting is that you failed your first audition. They didn't take you. They didn't take me the first time. Why? What happened? You know what? I think that first and foremost, my motto is I stay ready so that I don't have to get ready. Amen. And I hear it. I, I'm right there with you. Okay. I think there's so much to, there's often times where you're not ready for something. Uh -huh. um, sometimes the opportunity is just not ready for you. Yeah. That is such a big thing. Because we walk through life thinking sometimes like, oh, what's wrong with me? Instead of realizing that maybe they're not there. Yeah. They're not there. Yeah. Keep yeah. going. And so the space wasn't ready for me. Uh -huh. There was so much shift and alignment that had happened within the eight months that I feel like I was truly set up uh, to shine more eight months later. So you grew up and you struggled with your weight. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that time in your life. Uh, so I grew up Houston, Texas, uh, child of two immigrant parents. Like all factors point to, we love food. Mm -hmm. um, you from H-Town? I didn't know that. H-Town, yes. Part? Well, I went to Katie Taylor. What? Oh, you on the Katie, Katie side? Okay, yeah, I was going to Houston, girl. <laughs> okay, side <laughs> note. All right, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was and in the so, hood, I was on third war, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, I went to school in U University of Houston. Mm -hmm. um, and so I remember I was supposed to be a bridesmaid in my aunt's wedding. We go to the store, the dress doesn't come in my size. My aunt offers to buy me another dress, a more beautiful dress. Um, I broke down in the bridal shop that day because I felt like if I was the one wearing a different dress, everyone would know this secret that I'd been trying to mm. hide, which was my size. I remember I never laughed too hard because I didn't want people to notice I was in the room. And so... Um, oh, poor thing. We left that How day... How many years did you live like that, not laughing so people didn't notice you? Oh, my gosh. My entire childhood, I would say probably until I was like 15 or 16 years old. Um, and then still some. I think, you know, for anybody who's battled uh, with their self-image, if you specifically weight, you can lose weight. But if you're not training your mind mm -hmm. at the same time, yeah. then you don't ever see it. Yeah. I thought that if I looked a certain way, then I would be accepted by, a, uh, by people. I thought that if I looked a certain way, the world would receive me differently. And so when I finally lost the weight and people were gravitating towards me, I said to myself, oh, okay, you're right. Like, now all these people wanna be your friends. Now everybody likes you because you look like this. It took many years for me to realize, I don't know that people gravitated towards me because I look different. I think I finally started to show them who, who you I were. really was. Because you were hiding your And so your that's why, yeah. The perspective. Okay, so we know you got a lot of Tundayisms where you that you use to help encourage many people, um, and a lot of those came from your mom, correct? Mm -hmm. Your mother's death had a tremendous effect on you. Because how old were you at the time? Oh, I think I was 29 or 30. To rewind, I, I lost my little brother 
um, when he was 19. Three years after that, I lost my dad, and then three years later, I lost my mom. How did you so, go through that grief? Because when you've hit under, under, yeah. under, and you just feel like the world's on you, yeah. it's like, well, how do I get up from that? How did you go through that? I don't know that I have advice for it, because I think that we all process grief the way that we're going to process grief. Yeah. Like, the way that I processed with my brother was very different than my dad and my mom. It was looked different each time. Um, I know that for me, I allowed, I allowed myself to be low. And yeah. so I think it was really a matter of not moving past the pain and moving through every, every, every emotion and every inch of it. Yeah. Every, every single day was a different color. Yeah. I got a question for you. When was the last time you cried? And what, what, what made you cry? Oh, do you really want to know? I do. What made you cry? The last time I cried uh, was yesterday at the air. This is real talk. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday. Is the camera still on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is yesterday at the airport. Um, the gentleman in front of me, I noticed that he kept turning around and looking behind my shoulder. And so uh, at first I thought something was wrong, you know, with yeah, us, yeah, me and yeah. him. And then so I looked past my shoulder and I noticed that there was a woman who was saying farewell to him. And so we are in the TSA line for probably 10 or 15 minutes and the entire time he kept turning around and looking at her and she just kept smiling looking at him. And I said, is that your wife? And he said, yeah, we've been together for six years. I said, she loves you. And he said, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be two weeks until I see her again. And they just kept having this like interaction where they were smiling and I cried and I looked and I said, wow, I don't have a person mm. that I look and have this like, Moment like, with. You were not dating? Honey, who do you know? Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of, listen, Honey. I will hook you up. <laughs> is, 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 is a relationship something you want? Yeah, you know what? Uh, in my 20s, I thought to myself, what is wrong with me? How come nobody likes me? It was all, why me, why me, why not me? Yeah. At 37, it's a completely different space in that I am excited that the man that I end with he is working on himself right now, mm. as I am working on myself right mm. now. Yes. What kind of guys do you like? What kind of guys? Uh -huh. Type-wise? Yeah. Honey, I'm open. Okay. She does not discriminate. She does not discriminate. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah. I, I, a good heart, a good heart. Laugh, 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 laugh. Nice teeth, I see you have nice teeth. <laughs> thank you, uh, you yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I like a good heart and yeah. somebody who makes me laugh and thinks I'm hilarious, honestly. Yeah. You also have the um, acronym SPEAK. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, in my book, SPEAK, I, I, I spoke to five words as elements. Surrender, power, empathy, authenticity, and knowledge. I looked at the word surrender and what it truly meant. I noticed that every single time in my life when I fully surrendered, it resulted in change. Maybe change I liked or I didn't like, but that change always led me to growth. Mm -hmm. Power I define as living in purpose, on purpose, being of great purpose. Empathy I speak to as being rooted in love, not just love for other people, but love for yourself first. If I don't love myself, I don't even know how to love you. I don't yeah. even have the tools to do it. Yeah. Authenticity is the intersection of truth and trust. When you trust yourself enough to show up as you truly are in all spaces. Um, and then lastly, knowledge. Every misstep, every opportunity that I've had has led me to this moment. Mm -hmm. um, and so I recognize that everything in life is happening for me, everything. Mm -hmm. and not for, yeah. And not I'm, to me. Yeah, I hear yeah. that. Listen, yeah. thank you for thank coming you. here. Thank you. Y'all better give it up for Tunde. Um, you can learn more about Tunde's life and how to find your voice in her book, Speak. It's out in paperback right now. And guess what? Everybody in the audience, y'all get in the book. <laughs> So this is rare. We normally don't have somebody trying to unlock their parents' phone. I know. <laughs> no. She wants her parents to commit to each other. This feels right. You see how they look at each other? Yeah. They both want it. He told my producer that he wants to hang up his player's coat. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to see. It's two phones unlocked. You gotta calm down. No, you have I, to calm no, down. because. And one situation no one expected. You know, growing up, my mama always told me, stay out of grown folks' business, especially hers, after I tried setting her up on a date. And my guest, Tashira, asked for my help to bring her mom and dad back together for a second chance at love. 
But here's the problem. Tashira says her mom, Tara, and her dad, William, both have trust issues and have cheated on each other in the past. Now, Tashira needs my help to unlock both of their phones. Everyone, please welcome Tashira to the show. Hey, Tashira. Hello. Oh, you look smooth. Oh, thank you. These necklaces and this shirt, okay, I'm with thank it. Thank you. Um, so this is rare. We normally don't have somebody trying to unlock their parents' phone. I know. <laughs> I know. This is new. So you want your mom to get back together, your mom and dad to get back together? I do. Okay. Um, they have been going back and forth. Um, I'm 29 years old. They have been doing this for a while. Yeah. Um, we recently just moved across the country, and they are oh, still trying to keep in touch. <laughs> <laughs> they're still family. trying to keep in touch, and I just really feel like it's about time for them to take the next step and try So again. do you think they're just playing games with each other? You know what? They both, both are. They uh -huh. both are a bit of um, a player, for yeah. sure. Who's the um, player? Your mom or your dad? See, my mom keeps her options open. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my dad, well, they, they chasing my dad a little bit. Okay, so okay. It's different on both ends, but I, I think that they could move forward because they do really want to end with each other. So what type of relationship do you have with your mom, Tara? Um, my mom, that's, that's my best friend. Mm. Um, she's my biggest supporter. She has, oh. <laughs> She has made sure that I grew up to be a strong, independent woman. Yes. Um, but I would like for her to find happiness in her love life also. And what about your dad? What's your relationship like? So I t okay. So I tell my dad <laughs> everything that okay. I don't tell my mom. Because <laughs> um, you just said you're best friends with your mom. So. She's my best friend, but she's, you know. She'll, she'll get the other side. He's going to get okay. the other side. I got it. He's my, my biggest protector. He's there for me through anything. Um, and I know that if, if I can't get it out my mom or can't, can't get that view sight from my mom, I can lean on my dad for it. Okay. So <laughs> it's, it's good to know that you have great supportive parents. I do. And that explains to me why you want them to get together. I do. But you witnessed cheating on both sides. A little, yes. Okay. And okay. What, yeah, tell me about that. Okay, so on my mom's side, I, I don't know it all, which is why I'm here, right? But I, I do know that she, she plays the field. Okay. Um, I would really like for her to know that there's more than just these different people out here on our social medias or around the world, right? You got all this love right here with one person. Mm -hmm. On my dad's side, I, I didn't see it firsthand. Uh-huh, you saw it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He is a ladies' man. Um, he, he keep a nice rotation of women. Mm. Um, <laughs> and I, but it always comes back to my mom. I've had some of my dad's own friends, like, he, your dad just love your mom so much. And I'm like, well, what are y'all waiting for? Yeah. You know? They were young when they got together, right? They were. How, how young? Uh, well, I was. My mom had me at 13 years old. 13. Okay. Yes, and my dad was 16. Okay, yeah. Um, so they were babies when they had each other, so they were like each other's first love. Yes, yeah, definitely. Got it. I think they never really got a, a fair chance in adulthood got to it. try again. All right. Well, listen. Uh, listen. I grew up in a black household where you you don't meddle in, in grown folks' business, and you are meddling in grown folks' business <laughs> trying am. to, un uh, trying to unlock, <laughs> unlock your parents' phones. <laughs> yes. Um, do you do, have you ever do you ever feel like maybe you're overstepping a boundary here? No, okay. I don't. Tell me why. Um, well, because I do have that mutual respect and love for them, and I'm grown myself now. Um, and I see it. Preach. They both coming to me, telling me about each other. Oh, so they're involving so you. So I don't see the point why I can't go ahead and say my piece, too. Got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, that's different. So I get it. So you, your, goal, your goal here is to just clear the air. Yes. Because now if we both, y'all both know what's going on, there's mm -hmm. no more secrets, and now you can make a decision to move forward. Exactly. Understand. Exactly. Okay, this is a cute way to mail in your parents' business. Okay. Yeah, it ain't too bad, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not a too bad. It gives me like an updated version of the parent trap. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Let's go write this movie together, girl. Okay. okay? All right. Stop, okay. Let's do it. Um, so we're gonna take a quick break before I bring your mom out. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to have a seat in the audience. Okay. And we'll be right back after this. All right. All right thank right. you. She wants her parents to commit to each other. This feels right. You see how they look at each other? Yeah. They both want it. He told my producer that he wants to hang up his player's coat. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to see. It's two phones unlocked. Got to calm down. No, you have to I, calm no, down. because. And one situation no one expected. No, 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 because this went left way no, too fast. No, but. So this is rare. We normally don't have somebody trying to unlock their parents' phone. This is new. 
So you want your mom and dad to get back together? I do. They uh, both are a bit of um, a player, for yeah. sure. See, my mom keeps her options open. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my dad, well, they, they chasing my dad a little bit. Your goal here is to just clear the air. Yes. Because now, if y'all both know what's going on, there's mm -hmm. no more secrets, and now you can make a decision to move forward. Exactly. So we're, we're talking second chances of love and unlocking phones at the same time, and I think it's time we meet to share his mom, Tara. Everyone, please welcome Tara to the show. Hey! Oh, you're gorgeous. Hi. How you doing? Good. Nice to nice meet to you. Me. Okay. So your daughter Tashira wants you and her father to get back together. How do you feel about that? But she think y'all both playing games. Wow, she needs to mind her business. Oh, okay. For one, <laughs> and for two, it's been so long that we have actually, he, he, we've been trying. Yes. But things get in the way, women. Yes. On his end. Mm. Mm. So you tried to, to establish a relationship. We tried. Last year, we actually tried. And, and women got in the way. And, definitely. Yeah. Three. Oh. Three. My mom had a 60th birthday. Mm -hmm. He was invited. And literally, what, three women there. <laughs> and the day before. Oh, you brought three women to your mama's birthday? And say they are his friends, and that's his friend friends. So. Did you kick him and the women out? Okay, so this is what happened. My daughter kicked mm -hmm. the women out. Okay. And mm -hmm. when she kicked them out, uh, he claimed that they were just friends. So actually, what's funny is that they never even talked really since the six, since last year. Okay. Today will be the first time my daughter. Really? Yes. Because you were upset about the fact oh, that yeah. she brought. I was, because I know the love they had for each other, and I saw it all all the day before and day before that, and to do that on the on the party day was yeah. just not cool. And he's telling us that he wants to, he told my producer that he wants to hang up his player's coat. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I want to see. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see him hang it up and keep it there on the, on the hanger. Okay. That's what I want to see. So when did the, the trust issues really start? The trust issues started maybe when she was one. Mm -hmm. He brought another girl to her birthday party. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. When she was one. And then when she was two, it was another girl. Wow. Then when she was three, he was married. I, I just, it just always was somebody. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to get a friend, he went to go Mike Tyson him and beat him up. Really? Yes. He beat him up. Tooth out, black eye. So it was where a lot of people knew him. And, and when I would talk to other guys, they like, oh, you have a baby. Are you with your baby father? And I'm like, nah. And they're like, who your baby dad? And then I'll say it and, oh, no. Yeah, and oh, then they no. would stop. Yeah, he's mm. known as like a Mike Tyson down there, but... So do you trust William? I don't. Yeah. I don't. Why not? Outside of him bringing these three women. Because he's always been a player. He, uh, and, it, and it went back, I think, to when we met, our childhood, and then the, the next day after we had sex, he said I was a freak. He said I had a nice body, but I was a freak, I guess, because he hit it quick. Mm. But I was a kid. Yeah. I yeah. was a kid, and so that then, hurted me. So the whole time, I never really like wanted to get in a relationship seriously with him because. But he all—he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Yeah. He's so great. He's a great dad. He's—he's he's a great man. He's a supporter. He's a provider. Did but, he ever apologize for calling you a freak at that age? You know what? Actually, he did not. He mm -hmm. said he didn't do it. He didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Got he it. did, mm -hmm. and that's right. what kept me away from him. Um, so that's, you've had conversations with him about getting back together. I have. And what were his, what's, what's his response when you talked to him about that? He wants to. Yeah. He wants to. I know I'm the love of William's life. I know mm. that. I am the love of his life. He tells everyone that, even his other baby. I've been through, I've been with him through three other baby mamas and a marriage mm. where they actually stayed with me for a couple of months. You let them move in? I did. I okay. did. Okay. And I, 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 I've always been there, and he's, he's been there through my different past relationships. Yeah. So it's kind of like I, today, I want to hang it all up. I, I want to get back together, but I do. I need to know what's in his phone. So why unlock your phone? If it sounds like he had the women. I don't know why women. he wants to unlock my phone. I'm not <laughs> doing anything. I don't, I don't, I'm not doing anything. Because you're saying I'm, I'm ready. I was showing you that I'm committed. I'm showing it. I yeah, am. you're here. I'm okay, ready. I understand that. All right, listen, everyone. Tashira wants me to unlock both her mom and dad's phone to find wow. out if they can get a second chance of love. Please, everyone, welcome Tashira's dad, William, to the show. 
<laughs> hey, <William. laughs> How are you doing? Nice right. to meet you. Why are you over there? Get over here. You was the first one who cheated. I wasn't the first uh, one who cheated. Why are you so far away from her? I, I mean, didn't... I don't have no problem with that, but you, I don't feel like you was being 100% honest. No. This guy had the beat by page, uh, the page I bought you. Mate, okay, okay. But that was a friend. Uh -huh. You didn't have no, you didn't Same know. Guy. You didn't know. You didn't know what was going on. You beat him up. William, and, do you want a second chance to love with Tara? I would love to take a second chance with William. Yeah. yeah. But there was cheating in the past. Yeah. So have you stopped your cheating ways? No. This feels right. You see how they look at each other? Yeah. They both want it. She wants her parents to commit to each other. You still talking to women? A male and a female can't be friends? It's two phones unlocked. You gotta calm down. No, you have to I calm no, down. because. And one situation no one expected. No, 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 because this went left way no, too fast. But... You are the fast. Get off my stage. So your daughter Tashira wants you and her father to get back together. How do you feel about that? But she think y'all both playing games. Wow, she didn't mind her business. Oh. Last year we actually tried. And, and women got in the way. And definitely, yeah. three. So he told my producer that he wants to hang up his player's coat. Oh really? Yeah. I want to see. <laughs> William, do you want a second chance to love with Tara? I would love to take a second chance with her. Yeah. So have you stopped your cheating ways? I've been single, so I haven't had to cheat in a while. Okay, I hear that. How long you been single? For some years. Just last year, you bought this ghetto girl <laughs> to my mom's party, and she had some other ghetto girls with her. You could have been with them too. I don't know who you been with, and then you, we had to put them out. I gotta look at you right in your face and tell you I never slept with any of them. We're gonna find out Ever today. We're in gonna, my life. We're gonna find out Just good today. Friends. Like a male and a female can't be friends? No, not with you. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, Tara blames you for your past relationship issues. Do you agree with that? 50 50. Mm. Oh, wow. Why is it 50 50? You show them. You... I put my heart into you. Okay. I feel like you took my heart and ripped it out and. You still, I you, you accused me since 14 years old. No, 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 no. Okay, You're way well. past that now. But I'm saying, thinking back, Okay. I was crushed. And I wasn't going to jump back into another relationship. You've been a hoe before me. I wasn't in love with them. Okay, okay. Mm. I never had a child before. Okay, you she, right. She said earlier that you, that you called her a freak when she was a kid. Oh, wow, Karamo. <laughs> I won't bring it up. I, she told me, but I don't recall that. But can you, if you really want a second chance at love, sometimes the wounds that happen in our past, especially when you're 14, 15, 16, those things stick with us. Can you ever look at her and apologize for that? Of course I could. Really? Yeah, I could. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. I apologize for calling you out your name ever in life. Oh. I mean that. I believe him. It's sincere. Can I hug him? Yes, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> what are the factors that have kept you from terror? Trust is a major part. I can get past that, but we live a great distance away from each other also. Mm -hmm. How far away? Uh, she's on the miles. West Coast and I'm on the East Coast. Oh, you and, you're on the West Coast, East Coast, okay. But oh, he yeah, could yeah, be yeah. on the West Coast. I he could be, a lot. He could be over there with me. Mm. If Where he... are you at, on the West Coast or East West Coast? Coast? You're on the West Coast too, okay. Doing East Coast things. Okay. <laughs> Doing East Coast <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm on the West Coast doing <laughs> East Coast <laughs> things. <laughs> Trust me, I'm gonna start saying that. <laughs> um, so you have a close relationship with your daughter. Oh yeah. Um, so what's your thoughts on to share one y'all back together? No. I've been in there. She told me years ago. Yeah. That it would make her very happy to see both her parents. Mm. Like living she in did. the same house. She yeah. did. Yeah. Why is it so important? It, it for you? always been in the back of my mind. It just feels right. Like yeah. even right now with them right here together right now, it just feels right. You see how they look at each other? Yeah. They both want it. They it, just got to move. It, I can't lie. It does feel like an old married couple in front of me. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> like, it feels like two people who just know each other. And, and I get he it. was it's actually, he was actually, when he was, when he was married, he was, he was faithful. Oh. So he could be faithful to this, too. Okay, then. Oh. Well, that's good to know. 
Okay, so that gives you hope because you said you had some it trust does. issues, it but does. it gives you hope. It does. I, he's, he's a great guy. He is mm -hmm. a great guy. So what's the difference now that's stopping your relationship from working? His phone. You have his phone? His phone. <laughs> I need it unlocked today because I don't believe. <laughs> so what are you him. what are you trying to find in there? I need to find if I if he really coming to the West Coast from the East Coast is a big move mm -hmm. and a big transition. Mm -hmm. But we're all we really we're family. Yeah, you know. So he is com we're comfortable with each other. But again, I I need because he can come over the West Coast doing the East Coast stuff, and I don't want that either. Because mm -hmm. he told me when he was working on the West Coast, he had them ladies over there doing the East Coast stuff. Doing the East Coast stuff. <laughs> He did. He said he did. He did. Am I lying? Oh, you know I'm not lying. <laughs> William, you was on you the know, West Coast doing East Coast understand. stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. And I know he loves me. That's why I don't understand. It's like he loves me. I, I know this. I yeah. hear from everybody. I hear from his other baby mamas. Yeah. That he, so, so if he's still talking to women, is that a deal breaker? Because y'all are not together. It and you just said that he can be faithful. Why is it a deal breaker? It's a deal breaker because he needs to, he needs to step up to the plate. He needs to come to the west side with me. And Got that's just thing. So what about if he says, okay, he's talking to women, but he's going to drop them? You still talking to women? I'm not dead. We got them results okay. <laughs> today. All right, all right. Well, well, listen, everyone, when we come back from the break, we're going to unlock both oh. Tara's and William's phone to get to the bottom of this. We'll be right back. <laughs> so you said if he's talking to other women, it's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. It's two phones unlocked. You gotta calm down. No, I, calm no, down. because I... No, 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 because this, this went left way no, too fast. But... And one situation no one expected. This is way too much. Your daughter's gonna be coming back out here and y'all gotta figure this out. No one does nosy better than me. Photos. We found 378 oh, photos. He good what he do, because I don't you know how he sell that. These are years of snooping, OK? I know you nosy, too. Head over to Nosy, where you can watch full episodes of The Karamo Show and be nosy with me. Tara blames you for your past relationship issues. Do you agree with that? 50-50. You've Let's been a hoe before me. I wasn't in love with them. Okay. So, what's your thoughts on to share one y'all back together? It would make her very happy to see both her parents. Mm. It just feels right. Like, yeah. even right now with them right here together right now, it just feels right. So, if he's still talking to women, is that a deal breaker? Because y'all are not together. You still talking to women? I'm not dead. We're going to unlock both oh. Tara's and William's phone to get to the bottom of this. Well, I think it is time to start unlocking these phones. Are y'all ready? All right. All right, cool. All right. But first, I got to say this. Tashira, I know that you have called your parents here and unlocking their phones, but this is grown folk business. Yes. And I know you've grown. I know. But this is grown folk business, and I want to ask you to step backstage. Thank you. Okay. So that way we can talk about what's in their phone. Mm -hmm. Because listen, I never went through my mom and daddy's phone, yeah. and I don't know what we're going to find, and I'd rather them explain to you anything we find in their phones. Okay. Does that work for you? Yes. All right, cool. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right, so Tara, let's find out what we found on William's phone, are you ready? I'm so ready. All right, so you said if he's talking to other women, it's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. Okay, then. And there's nothing, no way that he could, he's a single man right now, so he can do what he want to do. He's not even really single, because he keeps saying he want me. Okay. So we need to work on that. Mm hmm But do you think if he is talking to someone, that means that you could actually work it out, that you could talk it about it, figure it out? It depends on how much they talk and how much. What's going on? That's right, we're going to okay. find out. I'm just justified, because you are a single man, so you're not under, it's not like you're cheating on your woman or something right now. When mm -hmm. your left eye twitch, you <laughs> lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm definitely not cheating. She, oh yeah, she knows you since you were a kid. She know the left eye. The left eye. Is it twitching? It was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. So then we went through your phones, um, and we looked, William, and we went through your photos. We went through apps. We went through text messages. Um, and so when it came to photos, on <laughs> we found <laughs> we found ten photos on your phone. I mean, ten sexually explicit videos. What? The hell? And several have been deleted just minutes before handing over uh, your phone to our investigator. You know when you delete it, we still find it. I don't know why we keep telling people this. All right. So when it came to apps, 
we found two IG messages and Facebook messages talking to women as recent as yesterday saying, hey, baby, sending heart emojis and, and saying to these women that they're beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No, you know, <laughs> that left eye is done. Okay. It's done. <laughs> All right. So when it came to text messages, this one was big. We found 20 text messages wow. with women who are sex workers as recent as six months ago. You mess with hookers? No, not that I know of. Prost you that's I, nasty. Not that I know of. Sex workers real work, we, you know? No, but it. that's some real and nasty And if I did, stuff. I ain't pay for it. Wow. Do you want to advance? Hold on, here we go. Here you go, these are the conversations. This is that you know, these conversations, if you want to see them. And you got a smile on your face. Why you with hookers? I never slept with them. You just have the conversations. Yeah. Okay. I'm here for free. <laughs> I'm here this for free. This is free. <laughs> Throw the pictures over I here. I look better than these <laughs> bitches. Can I cuss? You can say whatever you want to say. These bitches is ugly, and I look way better than that. <laughs> Do you want to explain yourself to her about anything? No. Mm -mm. Well, I, what I can say is this: this particular woman. No, that's different. I never honey. met her before. Yeah. The we one know. in the picture. Uh huh. That was on the app. Okay. I never met her before. Okay. So we we was texting back. So and you forth, give her money? I didn't give her anything. She asked for some money. You didn't. You didn't give her I any didn't money. Give her no money. There was no money in there. So is this a deal breaker from you? I mean, he's he's being very honest right now, transparent with you. You said you know the type of man that you you been with. I didn't know. I didn't know that type. Okay. So, all right, we've unlocked William's phone. So you know that he is talking to other women, that he is still communicating. He is a single man. I know that he said he's pursuing you, but he is a single man. So he, you know, these are different results if y'all were in a relationship and he was found out cheating, but he's, it's, your daughter wanted this to be all put on the table. So now that you, it's all out there, there would be no more of like, I don't know what's going on. All right, all right. But now it's time to your, unlock your phone. Okay. William, um, what do you think we're gonna find on Tara's phone? Nah, no prostitutes. I, I don't know. We about to find out, though. Okay, then. I want to know. Paying for them before sex. I move to the West Coast. <laughs> before, before you give up, before you give, give up your up East the Coast. Sex, yeah, before you give up the sex workers. Uh, okay. All right, so let's go for this. All right, so Tara, we unlocked your phone. We went through videos, calls, and texts. Oh, um, when it came, <laughs> Damn. when it came to videos, we found two thousand sixty-eight videos. Saved on your phone, you all sexual me? in nature, including videos of herself with other men that you recorded on your phone having sex. Oh, hell no. The truth is about to be unlocked. His name is Bert. He gave us permission to talk about him. You're in a relationship with I'm this not man. in a relationship. That's Bert right there. Bert. And it will turn this whole situation completely upside down. You got a type, girl. You got a type. Oh, you got a type. You are the top. Get off my stage. All right, so Tara, let's find out what we found on William's phone, are you ready? I'm so ready. We found 10 sexually explicit videos. What the hell? We found 20 text messages wow. with sex workers. So Tara, we unlocked your phone. We found 2,068 videos. Oh, Thanks. hell no. Are you talking about my 20 little messages? Okay, what's that? What's finish? And I wasn't even in none of the pictures on my phone. But I didn't pay for them. You was in a picture. But they, I ain't paid for those sex. Okay, all right. Okay. That's different now. Okay, when it came to calls, there was 47 calls within a week made to the same man, some lasting over two hours. So you, you looking at me? So, so you I know I don't want to look so that way. So you already in a relationship, basically no, what you're I'm, telling I'm me. I'm not in a relationship. I'm single. And, I, and I'm talking as long as I want on the phone. But that can be dropped. Well, I'm not with well no one. when we go to text messages, oh, here go. we did find 34 text exchange within a week with the same man you are in a relationship with. His name is Bert. He gave us permission to talk about him. No. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I keep him there because I don't know where you at. You're in a relationship with I'm this man. I'm not in a relationship. That's right there. <laughs> you in a relationship with Duke? You got a type, girl. You got a type. Oh, you got a type. She got a type, don't she? All right, take that off. Hey, See, you want me to come over to the West Coast, though? But I know what you a player, Will. I know it, and I would love to put I'm all that. I'm a human being, not a aside. player. No, you've been a player forever. But when you came last year, it was like, let's do this. But put them heifers to that party. That's when I said no. I started back talking to him. Mm. Okay. So that's what that was. So both of y'all have been in a space where y'all both talking to people. This is the thing right here. I want to be clear about this. Not that y'all wrong. We only unlocked your phones because your daughter wanted y'all to have transparency. Yeah. They, she wanted y'all to be able to talk about it. And now everything's on the table. Right. Do y'all feel like now that you know this and that you have answers that y'all can move forward? Or is it say... I would definitely, definitely put a ring on it. But we gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me tell y'all something. I'm getting no younger, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tell y'all something. I, you know what? Because somebody else outside of this, and I'm a good judge of character, could think this is unhealthy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I actually don't think this is unhealthy. It's not. No, I actually, it's I actually not. don't. I think that there's a playfulness and a joyfulness. Yeah. I think that there is a transparency there. Um, I think there's a lack of judgment because of how long you've known each other. Yeah. And I think Definitely. those are all foundations for what could build into a healthy relationship. Definitely. One of the things I really appreciate is that when you said when he was with his wife, you were a faithful oh, man. He was. He was. He was and I think faithful. those type of qualities show that if y'all did give yeah. it a chance and actually did give it a real shot, that this could work out. I actually do actually. Oh. I'm actually, I'm rooting for y'all. I'm actually rooting for y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, y'all are grown folks who do grown things on your free time, and that's all on y'all. And so when y'all come sure. together, I think y'all would be it's doing true. them same grown things together, but in a committed relationship. Right. And so... And I'll make you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, listen, I think we should go ahead and bring uh, your daughter back out. Okay. Let her know that mom and dad are thinking about getting together now. Actually, you know, we're going to trick her a little bit. I'm going to okay. sit here. <laughs> Y'all was about to fight. All right, yeah, <laughs> This conversation is about to take a dramatic turn. You've got to calm down. No, you have I, to calm no, down. because I... No, 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 because this went left way no, too fast. But... And it will turn this whole situation completely upside down. This is way too much. Your daughter's going to be coming back out here, and y'all got to figure this just... out. On William's phone, we found 10 sexually explicit videos. What the hell? 20 text messages with sex workers. So, Tara, we unlocked your phone. We found 2,068 videos. Now everything's on the table. Right. Do y'all feel like now that you know this, y'all can move forward? Definitely put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I think we should go ahead and bring your, uh, your daughter back out. Okay. Let her know that mom and dad are thinking about getting together now. Actually, no, we're going to trick her a little bit. I'm going to okay. sit here. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all was about to fight. All right, yeah, you go. <laughs> you got to calm down. No, you have to I, calm no, down. No, because I... No, 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 because this, this went left way no, too fast. No, but because he don't... No, 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 he no, no. He's being no. disrespectful. No, this is, this is, this is way too much. Your daughter's going to be coming back out here, and y'all got to figure this out. he's being disrespectful with his mom. No. And he no, know no, better. No. And he know better. No, no, no. But, it, but you no, know better. No. That's what I'm saying, you know better. And I know this is gonna turn into this, but you know better. Yeah, so listen, come, t come take a seat for us because okay. I think I, you being out here to, to talk to your parents, I think will help me right now. Okay. So can y'all be calm for a second? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you have wanted your parents to unlock your, their phones and while you were out, a lot transpired. Oh, wow. Um, how do you feel about the fact that we lied to you? <laughs> You I back there. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Why are you back there? Do it. Tell you want to tell your daughter what y'all said to each other? He gonna put a ring on it. Oh, <laughs> really? 
I'm always happy if you had me. I know she is. What, what's your thoughts? How you feel right I now? I just, well, I feel like I want to say, like, I told y'all so. <laughs> you did, you know? Because yeah. they, they just needed something else to just know what they got to move past, yeah. you know? You know what, though? We couldn't have did this at all without you. <laughs> well, I appreciate so, that. thank you. Yeah, you are. I appreciate yeah. you so much. All you brought with a drink to an argument. Y'all good, y'all good. I really do wish y'all the best of luck. I wish y'all the best of luck. And when I get back to the West, West Coast, Coast, I'm going to do some East Coast, Coast things. I'm going to do some things. Just go. Okay. <laughs> Listen, y'all take care now. Really. Right. Wish y'all the best. Thank you so much. All right, friends. Thank you for being with us.